Greetings people of YouTube, got a video today. So I was cutting, uh, was cutting hair and uh, the uh, things of course they fell on the ground, hit the concrete, bam, chipped it. So we had to put some new blades on. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, replace the blades on this uh, wall, W-H-A-L, whatever they call it, a uh, set of hair trimmers. So when you put them on, now right now I have them set pretty much where they go. So if I put them up, uh, there's my point there. So I'm gonna show you how you do this. So I'll take them off real quick. All it is is two screws, all right? Okay, this is for good for like whenever you wanna take them apart and clean them. You wanna get all the hair out of there. So to take this guy, you know, get all the junk out of there with a little brush, clean it up. Then you got your, your small blade, okay? That's gonna sit down, sit in that slot there. And you got your big blade. Now when you put the blade in here, what you want to do is, and I'll pull this off and I'll show you. So if you look, your bottom one, uh, actually if you're lining it up, if you're upside down like this looking at it, when you're doing it, so you want this first blade right here, you want that one to sit right on the edge of the large, large, uh, large piece there. And then the first blade should line up with the second small blade on this side. So when you put it on there, and you're going to put it like that. So one side's going to be a little bit higher. You'll see what I'm talking about. When you put it on, remember, put this side in first. Put this one over the top. And then uh, put some oil inside there when you do it. So put it on, on the back side of this. Lube it up. You want to keep it always lubricated. Now this is something you should do every once in a while, you know, when you take this thing out. Most people that do hair take these things apart all the time and trim them up or clean them up. So, okay, so I'm just going to set them kind of, I'm going to get them started. Okay, so now when I look at it, see how crooked that is? So I want to line up uh, right there. I can kind of see that. I want the first blade on the inner part. Let me get a good spot here. It's hard to see what's going on. So I want that first small blade to line up right on the edge of the inside of this part, okay? Once I get that, I'm gonna kinda tighten it up. So I'll do one side at a time when you tighten it up. So I'll we'll do this side, get it kinda tight. Now, then bring that over like that, and then tighten up the other side. Just do a little bit at a time so that don't torque it down because then It'll come loose. So your goal is to have that small little one. Uh, zoom in right there. Come on, baby. Zoom in. There we go. You want that small little one to be riding right on the inside edge of the fat one. And then your second blade here should line up on the first skinny blade. Come on, zoom in. There we go. On the back side. So you'll see that the back one's a little bit higher, and that's okay, you want that. So once you get that set in place, and you know it's there, it's good, hold them on both sides like this, and just tighten it down. A little bit tighter and get more torque on it. Okay? And double check it. Make sure that it's good there. So you'll see that the back, the back large one rides a little bit over the top. Now when you do this, to make sure, you can see where it stops, that's good. Now, next thing I would do, turn it on. If you pinch this blade, it should be able to stop. So the small inner blade will stop. That's how you know you're good. Another thing too is when you line it up, take your adjustment screw on the side here, know where you're at. So I'm right here, I'm at about 12 o'clock. Turn it, do you hear a buzz? Okay. Now go back a little bit. So I'm in a good spot there. So take it back a little bit past the point of when it stopped buzzing. And that's when you know it's good. But the best way to know is, is to push on this and see that that blade stops. So that's pretty much how you line it up. Then it's good and it should be good. Now you're ready to cut some hair. In this day and age when we have to cut hair at home, you know, it's fun. See me how the barber salons and hair salons are all closed because of the COVID deal. So 
yeah, but that's what if you want to take this thing apart and clean it up and redo the blades, whatever you want to do, that's how you do it. So thanks for watching. Hey, do me a favor. I I love how my channel's been getting bigger and I'm putting more videos out to help people out. So if you can like and subscribe to my channel, I'd dearly appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment um, if you'd like. Uh, I'll put more videos out soon. Anything you guys need, I'll help you guys out. So the more more kind of repair videos I need, you know, I know this haircutting tutorials like what the heck's he doing haircutting <laughs> so it's all good so i appreciate it uh stay safe out there during this whole covid crisis um yeah it's not doing too good but well it's getting better then it goes away out here in california we get the worst of it because i'm gonna stay quiet about people that are in charge of our state so anyways yeah you guys have stay stay safe out there and uh don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. Much appreciated. As always, peace out.